Now this book took me by surprise. When I tell you spice, spice. When it hits, it hits. I'm just gonna say there was a little balcony scene. All right? Hi, wonderful people, and welcome back to my channel, Book Craves. How are you? What's up? What have you been reading lately? Let's talk about what I read in June. If you love romance books, and that is your jam, especially if you enjoy books written by indie authors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then click that button down below, and you can also follow me here okay okay so let's get into these books y'all know that this was going to be a must 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 this month for me hidden scion by Cameron rosales this is part of the hillside kings series this is actually book five i've read book one to four it's all available on kindle unlimited but you know i needed to read book five when it was released and in this book we got alex's story so alex didn't realize or when you read the previous book alex never realized that his father was actually one of the individuals that run the cartel and that he would be in line to run the cartel as well and to you know get all that inheritance but before he knew all that he had a thing for Elena when they were younger and Elena is his best friend sister and now something really bad happened to Elena and she comes back with a child and so you have your secret baby and here you have where you this person that you want to be with has experienced so much trauma so you have to tread very lightly in terms of getting getting her to you know fall back in love with you getting to be close to her you know because she was hurt and she was also hurt by alex so you have your second chance the cocktail mm. Mm. Mm -mm. This one was really nice. I enjoyed it. The spice, it wasn't extremely spicy, but if you have been reading all the other books, then you would know it's not very spicy, but the spice is there and the development or the build of that spice, oh, when it hits, it hits. I'm just going to say there was a little balcony scene. All right. I read Keep Her Safe by QB Tyler. And <laughs> y'all know her books are always spicy. There's no doubt about it. No if, no buts, no maybe. It's always spicy. But in Keep Her Safe, this is your interracial bodyguard celebrity romance. In this book, we meet Shy. Shy, she is a celebrity actor. And Damien is her bodyguard. Yes, they both have had like little feelings for each other. But it was shut down earlier on. Her parents passed away and Damien was there for her. She finds out that, yo, my boyfriend has been cheating on me. And Damien is also there to protect her. And you just see where, or you just read where, they both start to accept that, listen, we both have feelings for each other. Where is this going to go? But you also have someone out to get her. That's the thing. You have someone that is so obsessed with shy that they will eliminate anyone close to her, okay? She's also friends with her co-workers because that's all she can have. But y'all, I enjoyed this book. The spice is always there. The story was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't anything surprising. It wasn't anything like unique, but it was a nice quick read where you could just like sit down just and enjoy it. It wasn't like, extremely wowing it wasn't like oh, oh my breath oh my god no it wasn't that i guess because i've read a lot of her work i know what to expect but it was okay i'm just saying it was it was okay i was expecting a bit more there was some action scenes in it love damien as a bodyguard i like his morals and everything that he stands for shy she was a nice personality i just there wasn't like anything overly majorly exciting to have me gasping and gripping you know what i mean i also read mile high contract by carolyn delani and this is your brother's best friend second chance office shenanigans we meet taryn and carter when her brother when taryn's brother or in this case carter best friend gets sent to prison they meet up 
he consults her, one thing leads to another, and then she doesn't see Kata for five years. She is in need of employment, and so she is employed by him. And then one thing leads to another because she finds out something about Kata, and she wants to find out more, and more, and more. I enjoyed this story. There was something unique about it. He runs a technology company, and when I found out about this app, I'm like, hmm... Hmm, I can see why Taryn was interested in finding out more about Kata. Is this book spicy? Yes. Yes. There was there was some good spice. Good spice to it. The story was really nice, and I'm actually looking forward to reading about Taryn's brother. He was introduced to what's the end of the book. So I'm really interested in reading that book. And finding out more about his prison experience how that has affected him and how he'll be able to overcome those challenges now that he's outside and may have a love interest okay i read uh, so this is college by darlene cunningham and in this book we meet diane and diane she's an adult full adult mature adult in college and diane she wants a full college experience because she never got to experience that while she was in college like doing like an associate degree type of thing but she's in university now so she wants to have that experience especially being in a black university and it's all about sexual experiences and yes you have some suspense regarding a particular professor who has some serious mental health issues some serious serious issues and he's become obsessed with diane and he's willing to do things to diane and do things to other people that might be interested in diane but diane is all about listen i want to be free i want to experience stuff and she does experience stuff with multiple people i've only gotten through like 60 percent. i had to stop just because it was like spice 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 and less story and less things that keep me interested in it it's not a bad book but i just needed more story and less spice am i going back to finish it i am i just needed to take a break y'all when i tell you spice spice another book that i read is play with me by claire wilder this is your friends the lovers single dad and jude and nora have been friends and Jude hasn't been with a female in eight years just because of his son. He wants to be there for his son and he doesn't want anything to take away that focus from him. But on top of them being friends and Nora being there to support him, there's also this mystery surrounding a particular hotel that Nora and Jude want to solve. Now, Jude is an ex-pro athlete and Nora is a librarian. So, how oh, that is That, 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 that. It was good. It was good. The spice, there's a very slow burn in this one. Extremely slow. It was slow. I'm not even kidding you. The spice, it was a slow burn. But the story, the story was okay. It wasn't bad. I gave this like 3.5 stars. I enjoyed it. But there was nothing like spectacular about it for me personally. Next up, I read Wed to the Devil. But listen, this is part two in a series, in a trilogy. So you have to read part one, Deal with the Devil. This came out back in January and it came out in June. And I received an advanced copy of this book. Listen, you must read the book in order because Wed to the Devil picks up exactly where Deal with the Devil ended. In this book, we meet Dear and Talia. Dear, his family comes from money and he needs to get wed immediately and produce an heir if he wants to inherit his family wealth, his family money. But he has a twin brother who already has a fiancé. So you have this marriage of convenience between Talia and Dare so that Dare can inherit his money, his family money. And you also have Talia. But listen, Talia came from no money. She finds herself pregnant. But... It's for their twin brother who already has a fiancé. So you have all this drama happening, but you also have a lot of stuff happening like in the background. You have a lot of suspense in this one, a lot of mystery in this one. I cannot wait for book three. So that is telling. That is telling. Marriage of Convenient. He Falls First. Billionaire. 
what next is going to happen with all of this suspense with what is happening with Talia. You have Dan making some type of deals in this book and I'm like, what is going on? Who is behind all of these shenanigans with what is going on with Talia? Like, like who, whom, whom? Who is doing all of this to you guys? Up next, I read Rigger's Mystique. This book I liked, but I wasn't like a huge fan of it. Rigger's Mistake by Misty Walker. We have Rigger and we have Navy. This is your forbidden MC step sibling romance. They are not related in any form or fashion. I like Taboo, I like Forbidden, but not to that extent, y'all. Not to that extent, <laughs> okay? So we meet Rigger and Navy when they were younger. Navy and her mom came to live with Rigger and his dad. They both experienced childhood trauma. Fast forward a few years, like 10 years, and Navy finds herself in a situation. And the only person that was willing to help her that she could open up to is Rigger, but she never forgave Rigger for what he did. In this book, there are definitely some dark themes. I just don't know what it is particularly. I just did not enjoy probably it was just the time of the i don't know but the characters wasn't bad the story wasn't bad it's things that i would normally enjoy but i just didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i would because this was in my june tbr so i'm, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that i didn't like it as much you know now this book took me by surprise when i tell you i was so surprised about this book like I didn't know what to expect first of all like I read the blurb but I seriously didn't know what to expect so in this book we meet Atlas and Rowdy Atlas she experienced something with her parents she's dealing with that she's dealing with grief she's dealing with secrets and lies that she just found out and so she got this type of letter pointing her in the direction of Rowdy so she goes to a new town have her own like fake identity and everything else and she meets Rowdy. From the moment they met it was shenanigans between both of them. It was just drama. It was just problems. This is a huge age gap book. Yeah there's like a good age gap between both of them and there's such a twist. Listen if you are following me over here then you would know that I was freaking out while reading in the gray because a bomb was dropped in this book and i'm like oh lord i couldn't contain myself i could not contain myself listen it is not this is giving some taboo this is your black love this is your age gap but <sighs> trouble trouble but it all ended well because you know I need my happily ever after. This gave me my happily ever after. But good lord. A. This book, it really took me by surprise. Like I just wasn't expecting some of the things that I got here. It's like, what? No, 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 no. This cannot be. That was my reaction when reading this book. I'm just telling you. When that bomb dropped. <laughs> You wouldn't be able to contain yourself. You wouldn't be able to contain yourself. Pretend to Love Me by Julia Garrett. This is a book that I enjoyed. This was like, this one is sweet. It's cute. It's giggly. It's fun. And I loved it. This is your fake dating, fake relationship, sports romance in a small town. So in this book, we meet Jude and Lily. Jude, he is an NFL player. He gets an injury. And so he has to do therapy. Who ends up his therapist, his physiotherapist? Lily. Lily is his sister's best friend. And Lily, she's going through crap. She's getting crap from her family. And he's just there to help her. And things lead from one thing to another. And then he gives her like this cute, cute pet name like Sunshine. You'll have to read it to understand the pet name, okay? When you read it, you'll get it. This author, I have been reading her books and I love like that sweet 
small town vibes that she gives in her books. I cannot recall if I've ever recommended her books, but if I haven't, I probably will very soon because I've been enjoying her books. You want cute, you want light, you still want a little spice, this is it. Like, this is it. See, I'm, I'm recommending it already. I really enjoy this book. Like, the characters I fell in love with, the situation, how the story flowed, I enjoyed. Did it make me feel all giddy and swoony? Yes. I did. I did. I did. Okay. This book is giving. It is giving. The last book that I read is Misdeeds of a Billionaire by Eva Winners. Listen. Listen. This book. This book. Okay? That's all I have to say. Brian and Audit. I love it. They're, they're perfect. Perfect relationship couple. Mwah. Okay, so they have like this one night. Audit, she's like, you know what? She came out of a bad relationship and she wants to spice up her life. She's like, you know what? I've been the good girl too much. I want to be naughty. So she decides to be naughty, ends up with Brian, and wakes up the next morning to his father threatening her. She's like, you know what? It's okay, fine. I like, I want nothing to do with your family. Boom. Tragedy strikes. She loses so much on top of that unexpected pregnancy. Like, <laughs> fast forward a few years later, she stays clear. She tries so hard to stay clear of this man. She's like, I, I, I don't want anything to do with this family. Finds out this man is the sweetest thing ever. Brian is the sweetest thing ever. Like he was there. Yes, you know. You still have that billionaire kind of power hole sometimes. But he was there to support her. Like when he found out what happened, he's like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Like he was so supportive and so sweet. And I love the flow of this story. I love the characters in this book. Yo, it was just nice. I gave this book like five stars, like the chemistry between them, like you felt it, you felt it. There's nothing in this book that I would change and I'm actually looking forward to getting more books from the secondary characters because good Lord, there's some history there with some of those secondary characters. This book, awesome, 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 awesome. That's all I could say. That's all I can say. Was I able to connect with it? Yes, I was able to connect with Audit so bad just because of what she went through. Like, I could empathize with what happened to her, most definitely. So, Miss Deeds of a Billionaire, definitely read that one. I think I have recommended this book already in June, but again, this is my wrap up. So, these are all the books that I read in June. I hope I didn't leave anything out because. These videos are always like super, super, super long and I don't want it to be super, super, super long. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you're not following me on my other social media platforms, make sure head over there. All the links are down below and look out until I post another video.